Philippines, you did it again. Jollibee. There are over 1,300 Jollibees in the world, over 1,150 in the Philippines, and Jollibee just opened two new branches, one in the greater Dallas, Texas metro area, one in the United Kingdom in Liverpool that served over 2,000 customers immediately upon opening that included not only Filipino customers, foreign customers. In fact, there are so many Jollibees in the Philippines, it appears that there are more Jollibees in the Philippines than there are hospitals. And in fact, Jollibee is quickly catching up to the number of universities in the Philippines, although right now there are over 2,000 universities there are more than 50% as many Jollibees in the country and growing. And based on my preliminary algorithm, it appears to me that seven years from now, there will probably be more Jollibees than universities in the Philippines. Not only that, Jollibee is quickly spreading globally in countries throughout the world. There are more than 200 international locations of Jollibee right now. So Philippines, you did it, exporting your culinary delights around the world, not only everywhere in the Philippines, but soon to be, soon to be virtually everywhere in the world. That's just amazing. Let's go ahead and check out a Jollibee and see what it's all about. Oh, hey, so let's go into Jollibee and check this out. But on my way in, I had to grab a latte from, as you can tell, Starbucks, which I'm definitely enjoying a lot. The only thing that I wanna mention I'm a little concerned about is the new sippy cup style container. Now, it's definitely great because it reduces the need for straws. Don't need a straw anymore. But for those of you that know what a sippy cup is, so a sippy cup is a spill-proof cup that we give to toddlers to prevent them from spilling their drinks. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I did manage to spill this a second ago while taking a sip. It actually just kind of poured out onto my shirt. But in any case, it is technically more spill-proof than with a straw, save the environment, less straws. However, I don't know how I feel about using a sippy cup. I'm, I'm kind of not quite sure about that right now. It's a nice little contraption. It saves the environment, which is great, but I, I kind of miss straws. I guess you can always get one of the reusable straws. Maybe that's the next step. So no more straws at Starbucks for now. Let's go check out Jollibee. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is absolutely totally awesome. I love Skillshare. Why do I love Skillshare? I love Skillshare because it's an online community of learners and learning that truly offers something for everyone and not just something, but a, a lot of everything. There is such a great range of topics that you can focus on ranging from computing, for example, animation, UI, UX, culinary, my personal favorite class is how to make an amazing grilled cheese sandwich. I'll show you a quick glimpse of that in, in just a moment here. Leadership, management, art, photography. There is just so much. Whenever I run a search in Skillshare, I not only find what I'm looking for, but I find new ideas, new ideas for ongoing learning. For less than $10 a month, you can become a member of the Skillshare community with a premium membership offering you unlimited classes. Not only are there so many endless classes available now, New classes are added literally all the time. For the first 1,000 people that click the link in my description, you'll receive a free trial membership to Skillshare Premium. I encourage you to do so. Check it out. You're going to love it. Now let's take a quick look at that grilled cheese sandwich. Absolutely delicious. The perfect grilled cheese, a mini class to master the sandwich. Learn with Plated by Alana Karp, head chef of Plated. I encourage you to make this sandwich. Try it share it. Wow, you're going to be amazed. Remember the first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. We're going to pull in to a Jollibee and order and hopefully um, this will be an incredible memorable experience for you and maybe for me as well. So let's go ahead and check this out. I'm, I'm very close so please be patient. I'm navigating some various road obstacles, road work, and let's see if we can avoid getting into a collision on the way in. Uh, don't want that to happen. My insurance rates are high enough as it is. Wow, a lot of construction here. Be patient, please. I'm just passing a McDonald's. I've noticed wherever there's a McDonald's, there's also a Jollibee. Now the problem is there's actually a tremendous amount of construction and 
the Jolly Bee appears to be completely off limits from this angle. So I'm gonna have to navigate around these various tractors and bulldozers and piles of dirt to try to get to Jolly Bee. So, you know, it can't always be easy. Good things in life sometimes come with a bit of challenge. So this is one of them. All right, let me see if I can get in this way. I think I found a way to sneak in. We're definitely not going home empty handed. We will have Jollibee committed, determined. So for those of you that have been to Jollibee, oh, we're gonna go the wrong way. Okay, this is a one way entrance, maybe not. I think we're good. There's some arrows pointing both directions, so I'm not totally sure. All right, let's check this out. We're almost here. All right, grab a bucket, Chicken Joy. Okay, let's check out Chicken Joy. All right, so we are at Jollibee. We managed to get into the parking lot. Not sure how they'll react to the, the video. Hopefully they don't throw food at me or close the door and refuse to serve. This will be interesting. All right, got to get prepared now. Okay, see if I can make this turn. Wow. Okay, I think we're gonna make it. It looks good so far. Here we go, Jolly B, in stealth mode. One second. Check out this menu. Hmm. What to order? Um. Hello. Um, I want to get a bucket, bucket chicken joy, please. How many pieces are in the bucket? Do you have a bigger one? Is that the biggest? Okay, uh, eight piece and then also two jolly hot dog. Spicy. Okay. Uh, that's it. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Where is the chain there? Thank you. Okay, so here we go with the phase two. I'm gonna close the window because we've got some, some rain. Actually, we've got hurricane conditions. Now this looks like a very tight turn. So, um, all right, here's the receipt. Jolly Bee, all right, so looks good to me. All right, can't wait, can't wait. And no, I'm not gonna eat it all in front of you. This is a lot of food. So eight pieces of Chicken Joy. Chicken Joy is the spicy style chicken that Jolly Bee is quite famous for. Of course, they do have the original non-spicy version, but we're, we're basically trying to determine um, why is Jolly Bee so sought after everywhere in the world, including most recently, it's the craze of Liverpool and it's the craze of Texas. So how is that? Now I'm about to bump into, well, a lot of obstacles here. Okay, let's see. I think, okay, here we go on a curb. I think we're gonna make it. Oh, almost hit a tree. Here we go. Okay, food time. Can't wait. Hello. Thanks a lot. Looks good.
All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. So this is a bucket of chicken joy from Jollibee. And if only you could, you can pick up the scent. This just smells so delicious. Honestly, I've got to say this smells completely amazingly delicious. Can't wait to open this up. And there is some gravy included. There's actually, oh, and it's, it's hot. So this is hot. It smells incredibly delicious and it's heavy. This is a lot of chicken. All right. So let's get out of here and dig in. If I can find a way to exit this, um, bit of a maze here, construction limits. So that was Jollibee. So welcome to Jollibee and let's see what this is all about in just a few minutes. Okay, let's take a close-up look at Jollibee. So we've got the gravy. We've got the gravy. Actually, I just I just um, kind of spilled it, and the gravy bounced out onto my car seat and hit the floor, and it didn't spill. So this is some incredibly well-sealed gravy. Super hot. It's burning my fingers. I'm not reacting for your sake, but it, it's really hot. Okay, so here we go. This is Jollibee. Let's go ahead and get this bucket opened. Let's get this party started. Okay, Jollibee. Whoa, here we go. Okay, this is Jollibee. Now, look at that. That is some delicious chicken. And there's a red flag warning us. This is definitely the spicy chicken joy version. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Can't wait to dig in. All right. And in addition to, in addition to the chicken, as you know, there's a whole nother bag here. This is just this is just like the appetizer. So I've got a table here. All right, so let's let's check this out. We've got the second part of this meal here, which is the quite famous Jolly Hot Dog. Jolly Hot Dog. All right, so juicy. Well, can't read upside down. Let me just try to remove this for a second here. So what's up with this hot dog? So juicy and meaty. Wow, Jolly Hot Dog. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. Whoa, look at that. There it is. Wow, that looks good. No need to add ketchup because it's already there. And wow, yummy. All right, I'm about to spill it. So we'll dig in in just a minute, but so far very pleased with the packaging, the aesthetics, the smell, the look. Looks awesome. Let's dig in in a minute. Okay, Jolly Bee, here we go. Unboxing of the Chicken Joy Bucket. All right, so here we go with a piece of amazing, wow, look at this chicken. Just check that out. Truly amazing. All right, here goes the bite. Wow, spicy, delicious, amazing. Highly recommended. Gonna need to take a drink of water here. Spicy, not too spicy, just right. Gotta love it. Recommend it. Wow, delicious. Okay, so back at the laboratory here, we're going to dig in and do a thorough unboxing of Jolly Bee. Now, just for the sake of full disclosure, some of my teammates ended up devouring much of the bucket of chicken that you recently observed. I therefore had to do an additional order but I added one more food item, which is Jolly Spaghetti, as well as some rice. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing and some taste testing, and let's find out if we can discover the reason why I'm anticipating there will be more Jolly Bees than universities in the Philippines in the next seven years, and why there are already more Jolly Bees than hospitals. Let's go. Okay, so here's the rice. There, oh, that's not a rice. No rice. Oh, burger. Okay. Well, I'd rather have a burger than rice anyway. So this is a Jolly Bee Cheesy Yum Burger. We're going to check that out in a second here. This is not mukbang. Don't worry. We're just going to do a quick taste test. I won't make you watch me eat for five hours. I promise. We got the famous Jolly Hot Dog. And, and, oh, I think we do have rice after all. Let's see. Yep. This is rice. It does say rice. Let's check this out and see if there's a hidden burger. Ah, we've got rice. You can almost eat it like a burger, rice burger. Okay, of course we have the chicken. Ooh, 
Check out this chicken. Wow. That is delicious. And not just one piece, but there's more. And we have gravy. Now for jolly spaghetti. Let's check out this jolly spaghetti. Uh, okay, wow, looks good. Jolly spaghetti. Makes me jolly just looking at it. Check that out. All right, so as promised, I won't make you watch me eat all of this, but we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing slash taste test. So I think we're gonna start with the very famous jolly hot dog. All right. I did sanitize my hands with alcohol, so no concern about that. All right, let's get started. Jolly hot dog. Luckily, I have some napkins. Delicious, definitely. No need to add condiments because it's fully loaded. One more bite. Okay. Delicious, delicious. All right, now for the Jolly Spaghetti. Okay, apologize for making you watch me eat. I'll try to do it as professionally as possible. Hopefully I don't spill food on my shirt. Wow, okay, well this is cheesy and saucy and hot doggy. All right, here we go. Very nice taste. So as you can tell, I'm having trouble doing the promised one bite each, so that means it's good. Thumbs up on the Jolly Spaghetti. I will be finishing, sorry, talking while chewing, not polite, all of this as soon as this broadcast is complete. All right, so I think we're gonna go with the burger now. Let's check out the cheesy yum burger. So, cheesy yum burger, let's unbox it. Well, quite interesting, so there we go. Also, plenty of condiments inside. Not sure exactly what condiments those are, but we're gonna find out. Okay, here we go. Now, I don't see the burger, though. Oh, other side, okay. The burger's on the other side, hiding out. So, let's check out this cheesy yum burger. It's good, it's good, it's different. It's a different kind of burger. I like the sauce, not totally used to the taste. I like it, very different than other burgers, but it's an interesting mix of sauces with the beef and the cheese all mixed together, and it's pretty good. I wouldn't say that I'd eat 10 of them, but would I eat one of them? You bet I would, and I will. All right, so next up is the rice. Now I know that there's a more local Philippine culture way to eat the rice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead with the American style way and I'm gonna eat it like I'd eat a burger. I like the rice. Yeah, it's good. That could be the new burger. Okay, here we go. This is the grand finale, which is the Chicken Joy chicken, crispy-licious chicken joy, juicy-licious and crispy-licious, wow, all right, I can see the spices everywhere on this chicken, in case you want to take a look at the spices, you can see the spices and you can see the spicy warning flag, and we've got the gravy open, let's check out this gravy, nice gravy, that is very good gravy. Gravy's great. It's almost like soup. I could just eat the gravy and I'd be pretty happy. Wow. Good gravy. Okay. Always remove the flag. Never eat the flag. Here we go. First bite. Close your eyes. Spicy. Wow. I think I just got spices in my eye. Mmm. I feel the burn. Where's the water? Forgot to drink. Uh oh. Well, it's certainly spicy. I did choose spicy. That's chicken joy. I could have chose regular. 
I chose spicy. That was my choice, and I am literally, wow, burning, burning. But I need to take a bite of this chicken. Very good chicken. I just can't stop. I know we're on video, so I should stop at a warmer bite. Well, wow. it's very good chicken. Very good chicken. I understand now why Jollibee is in Texas and Liverpool and why there are huge queues of people lined up for Jollibee. Honestly, it's really about the spicy chicken, in my opinion. I'm sure the non-spicy is good, too, but the spicy is just awesome. Honestly, awesome. Spaghetti's really good. Jolly hot dog. It's good. The burger is reasonably okay. I, I can eat it. Rice is good, um, but the chicken is awesome. So I'm going to stick with my prediction. In seven years, there will be more Jolly Bees than universities in the Philippines, possibly wherever you are too. It could happen. And I understand why Jolly Bee is quickly expanding throughout the world, everywhere, everywhere. This is a great meal. I'm going to go through all this food. Once we finish this broadcast, I encourage you to try Jolly Bee. And wow, I'm still on fire. Always get a drink with Jolly Bee, especially if you go with the spicy chicken joy. Thank you very much for joining. Please click subscribe the bell and all for notifications so that you're alerted of future broadcasts from all over the world. Thank you for joining. Please click like. I'm going to finish this meal. I won't make you watch me. Talk to you soon. Goodbye. Changed my mind. Let's finish it all right now. Camera's rolling. Let's go. Can't resist. My only complaint, I really could have used more napkins, and I am so full, but I feel overcome with a state of peace of mind, content, harmonious, and I can tell you, I love the chicken. I will be back to Dolly B another day. Thank you for joining. Talk to you soon. Click subscribe. I'm going to wash my hands because they are covered in all types of finger licking, sticky, gravy, spaghetti, rice, chicken. Wow. But I love it. Thank you. Talk soon. Goodbye.